It's very tired today. This is B class time. Number three. <laughs> B class number three, we did the shim sham. We did the shim sham. So tonight we did Tacky Annie. So last week we ended with Zamba. That was actually the beginning of your Tacky Annie. So we have half step, half step, half step, step, Zamba. We did that three times. Tap step, tap step, tap step, 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 The last one, you're not going to do the stomp off. You're just going to step on your left so that your right leg is free on eight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do that last set of tachyannies and then the break so that you can see how it goes together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That came right after pushes and crossovers. Cool. Then we um, experimented with a new idea tonight. We did uh, took our triple steps out of some simple moves and we just step step through them. So for example, you have your side like this, six count, left turn, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step. We made it into four counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, we talked about how the leads are essentially interrupting the follows triple step in order to make this move happen. So if we face the camera as we're doing this, we've got this one, two, three, four. So we ran into you. That's okay. As you're, you want to lead right around that count three to get the follows out. One, two, three, four. Boop. We're adding a little extra juice leads as we're sending our follows out there. We're taking out sort of the bouncy, pulsy feel too, and we're keeping it nice and smooth so it creates a totally different feeling for the follows. It should be very obvious the difference between the two. You guys did a great job practicing that. Anything to add to that idea? Uh, no, just I think we can just show the other moves. Yeah, the moves. That we did, yeah. So then we came back to use the same ideas to come back. One, two, three, four. And you're talking about how we're um, leading it about the same time that this first added flux produced. One, two, three, four, bringing them back in. So all together, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we did another movement at the end. It looked like this, and we just do it, I don't know. <laughs> same diagonal. Yeah, the diagonal is good. And then we'll just do it different way after. One, two, three, four, one, two, and just pull the power away, pull the back, pull the back. Let's do it this way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> we go crazy. So here we're catching, and it just feels like a tuck turn coming back out. Drop, step in, and back out. For that, you're really going to use your forearm to lead leads right here because we come in right here with the follow. It feels just like a tuck turn. Out, in, and then I just give a little bit of a flick of my forearm to get Jen out a little quicker, interrupting that triple step. We played around a lot with doing the regular six count versions of these. This one's can be triple steps too, right? Triple, a rock step, triple, triple, versus the four counts so that leads could lead it very clearly and follows could tune in to that change. And it's very fun. We danced to a lot of soul music tonight. This is part one. We're gonna continue after Thanksgiving two weeks with more of this. I don't think she said this, but uh, follows in order to like most efficiently follow this stuff, assume it's always six count. If you're yeah. just saying I didn't say okay. that, but that's good, yeah. So assume it's already always six count, so you're not jumping the gun and assuming it's a four because the four is the less common. Um, so assume it's a six count, and that way you're super connected um, when the lead changes that pattern and leads the turn or whatever it is a little bit earlier. Um, so you'll you'll be able to feel it better if you assume it's a six. That's your hot tip. It's yes. so true. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Good Happy job tonight, you guys.